He's back. He took my pocket change and then dipped. I haven't seen him for months. Now his flatty is back on my event screen. He's got a lot of explaining to do. What the? It's a city? A whole city that's floating in the air! Upside down? That's so cool. Reminds me of the Venti statue. Just look at this place. Doesn't it remind you of something? The Venti statue? Wait, what was it again? The Venti statue? Yes, that's it! It's just like that. Just as strange, just as upside down, and just as spooky. All this upside down stuff reminds me of the inverted planet theory. That would be cool if it was real, but also, like, terrifying. In which case, maybe whatever's going on in the chasm really is connected to the Abyss Order. I, probably. This is a Dainsleuf quest. Oh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Uh, oh? Hmm. <laughs> Hello. You come here often? The feeling is mutual. Huh? I certainly hadn't expected to meet you here either. Long time no see, Dane. Wait, but how did you suddenly end up here in the chasm? The chasm? So we're in the depths of the chasm, are we? What? Interesting. This is one place where I have never set foot before. Oh, you take a wrong turn? I've got a lot of questions. I understand how you must feel. Last time we met suddenly and parted hastily. Now our paths cross again. Fate, it seems, owes you an explanation. How did you get here? That much should be self-explanatory. No? I came upon the trail of another Abyss Herald recently and began pursuing it. I was hot on his heels when I followed him through the portal, but as usual, it was to no avail. It took me to the wrong place. So you didn't catch my sister? Correct. Based on my recent experiences, I can only conclude that the Abyss's portals are not simply pathways from point A to point B, but gateways to an entire network. That's really cool. I mean, not in this situation, though. In this situation, it's very bad. Though I was right behind your twin last time when I entered that portal, the next moment that I realized where I was, I was all alone, back in the ruins known as Storm Terror's Lair. Huh. Oh yeah! Weren't they gonna mechanize Osile? They better not be doing that. It's in a safe place. You can be sure that I will learn the truth of the Loom of Fate operation sooner than it could ever fall into the Abyss Order's hands. Why don't you tell me who you really are? Twilight Sword? Huh. <laughs> so that title stuck in your memory. I by no means went out of my way to conceal it from you. It once stood for the glory of Kanria, but now... A meaningless title. It is but a cruel joke. My curse to bear. Twilight Sword was my title as Captain of the Royal Guards when I witnessed the destruction of my entire homeland firsthand. I believe my reluctance to raise it in conversation is quite justified. Before you continue questioning me, I ought to warn you. If my suspicions regarding the portal network are correct, then the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that the Abyss Order has their eyes on this location. I mean, obviously. Have you seen this place? Wait a minute, don't change the subject. I mean that it's highly likely that even as we speak, the Abyss Order is watching our every move. <gasps> don't say that! You're giving Paimon goosebumps! Let's go and investigate. Yeah, I want to explore that place. It's probably not going to be easy, you know, being upside down. There appears to be light from a fire coming from near that rocky wall. Let's take a look. I wanted to point something out. You remember the last Dainsleth quest when he told us what the Archons did? Weird how quickly the fandom decided to turn on their beloved Zhongli and Venti. I mean, we probably end up fighting this guy eventually. You can't trust someone just because they're very attractive, okay? You still haven't told me what you're doing here. I doubt that most travelers would have any reason to venture down this way. I guess you don't really think about that. To characters in the game, this is just another landmark. We wouldn't even be here if there weren't rumors about the Abyss. We took a commission from the Adventurers Guild to investigate the chasm. Apparently a whole load of hilly churls have been gathering here, and the requester wants to know why. Do you want the answer? I mean, yeah? Huh? You mean, you know something about this? Does this have anything to do with the Upside Down City? It's understandable that you did not perceive anything unusual. What makes this place so strange is that the environment here weakens the effect of the curse. Oh, Paimon remembers! Last time you guys 
were saying that Conria's people were cursed to immortality or something. He's talking about the curse of the entire nation, being turned into monsters. Are the Hilly Shores getting their consciousness back? That's awful. For centuries, I have suffered daily from the curse that was laid upon me. But here, I suddenly feel a small amount of relief from this suffering. In what context? You're still human. I think. And right here, right now, I can feel my body sending a strong message to me. It is telling me, stay. Why? So, this place weakens the curse? That's pretty incredible, but how? What other curse does he have besides immortality? I know there's the marks on his arm. I didn't know he was in pain. That I shall need to investigate. But to the best of my knowledge, the Abyss Order does not have the technology to achieve this. So the people here are from Conria. Indeed. Do you know why Healy Churls wear masks? I, roughly? To hide their appearance? Compared to how they remember themselves, it is a terrible sight to behold. One that causes them great despair. The curse of immortality denies death to those afflicted with it. It does not truly mean that they will never die. So, you mean, there's a way to undo it? Not fully. No. I mean that the body and soul will continue to be eroded until they are virtually non-existent, even if death is not the form that this erosion takes. When the Hillichurls realize that the end is nigh for them, it seems their instinct is to seek out a calm and dark corner of the world in which to finally say goodbye to the centuries of suffering they have endured. They come down here to die. And of all the places they could lay down to rest, one that can ease the effects of their curse would surely be their first choice. Wow. That's so... Depressing. Conversation's over. Brace yourselves. Therapy break. We're under attack. Oh, you're not so bad. I will have I'll order. make this quick. What were those? And why did they attack us all of a sudden? They're also from Conry, aren't they? Black Serpent Knights. They once belonged to the Royal Guard of Kanria. I thought so. Wait a second. Royal Guard? So, they used to be your troops? Yeah. Yes, they were. But now, the curse engulfs them, and they fight with none of the honor they once had. Let's continue on. You look different. Wait! Dane! Uh -huh. You look very different. Seems we missed one. Why aren't you attacking us? Wait, stand down. There's something different about this one. Yeah. It's disappeared. What the heck? What was going on with that one? Was it trying to say something? Maybe they recognize Dane. We should press onward to the city. Looks like there's a strange energy surrounding the city. We can't go any further. Huh. Guess there should be a mechanism or something around here. Looks like it's time to get into ruin exploring mode! Puzzle time. Don't waste your time. Oh? Oh. Conria's technology, abyssal power, two things I couldn't be more familiar with. They're just cheap tricks to me. Alright then. Dan seems like he really understands what's going on here. No wonder the Abyss Order doesn't want him around. Was this upside down city built by Conria? Probably. Not necessarily. The closer we draw, the more I am inclined to conclude that these ruins belong to a more ancient civilization still. The one from Ankonomia? They've got the same architecture. That said, the architecture here does somewhat resemble that of Conria. At least, it would if it were the other way up. So if it was the right way up, you would have said yes? Uh, interesting. Let's head toward the light over there. Mind your footing on the way ahead. It's a long way down. So the architecture here is the same as both Ankonomia and Kaunria. The difference being which one's the right way up. Hi. Solidify! Ha. <sighs> Black Serpent Knights! You really just left that in, huh? Why aren't they attacking us yet? We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to hide. Let's take them out first. I... Really? Oh no! More Black Serpent Knights! 
Bruh. Bruh. Oh, you're trying to talk. They're not coming after us. Are they just trying to scare us off? If they're trying to speak, I feel very bad for them. These knights seem like they're hiding something behind them. Are they protecting the dying hilly trails? Hold on. I think they... I don't think that's an option. Oh, brilliant. Later. Gone. <laughs> that was the last of them. Now, let's see what it was they were trying to hide. <laughs> huh? What's this? The Black Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. I should have guessed. So, what exactly is going on with these hilly churls? Are they just trying to die? As I said, for these hilly churls, the end is nigh. Right. But why would the Black Serpent Knights want to stay here and guard them? They're just doing their job. Oh, come on! Oh, we don't have to fight them this time. Hello again. It's him! The guy that came out of nowhere and disappeared again! And now they're retreating! Did he just order them to do that? Come on, you don't have to commentate everything. We both see it. I mean, I'm right- Half Dan? Oh, you do know him. You recognize him? That's the last thing you would want here. Could it be? If it's as I suspect, then this is a truly tragic state of affairs. You want to know why they were gathered here guarding the hilly churls, don't you? They are protecting them. It's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. Why aren't they fully monsters, then? The one who ordered them to retreat just now. I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man, an elite in the Royal Guard of old. His name is Halfdan. So, he's from 500 years ago, too? Duh. To this day, I still remember the final orders I, the Twilight Sword, gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanria, before I made haste back to the palace. Inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs. And that's what they've done to this day. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. Even though this is incredibly depressing, I'm loving all the lore we're getting. It keeps reminding me that after this quest we're gonna have to wait like six weeks. Ah, I like this room. This is very- is that water on the roof? <gasps> Look! Up there! A water pool! Yeah! Dang! Do you have any idea at all how it works? Yes, thank you for asking that. There are so many questions I wish I could just ask characters in-game, but you have to wait for the law to happen. The pool must be part of the entire city structure, a relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Cruel that it would be so out of reach. This whole place would be a hilly show bath episode. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. The effect is stronger here than it was before, and I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. Why? The water in that pool can wash away the curse for good? It wouldn't be that easy. No, that would be impossible. How are you so sure? The Abyss Order would have used it already. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. A god? The Seven? Or the ones from Celestia? Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely. Only the same god could reverse that. Consider it tantamount to burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. So, what's that contraption there? Looks kind of out of place. It was put there. Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do here? It must have something to do with the water. Ah, the Colosseum Gates. Hi. Halfdan, do you have something to say to me? Something you want to tell the class? <laughs> I think that's a no. He wants us to follow him. He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? 